About 25 miles northeast of Seattle, between Monroe and Carnation, lies Duval, a picturesque small town in the fertile Snoqualmie Valley. Duval is named after logger James Duval. The original town site was called Cherry Valley. It was half a mile downstream when the Snoqualmie River was the only lifeline to Puget Sound. All the farmers had to send all of their produce down on those steam wheel boats and bring up anything they wanted to buy. Everything had to come from someplace else. Today, State Highway 203 leads you down Duval's historic Main Street with some artistic surprises. What it does is it brings you downtown, it makes you think and reflect, and when you start to look at the different components, hopefully you'll start to see the story. The story of the river and the vibrant community built around it. The art is part of a renovation project started when the city had to replace its old infrastructure. It was the mayor's idea to say, hey, if we're going to rip up the streets and do all that sort of practical repair that had to be done, why don't we at the same time do something to make it look special and beautiful? Now benches reflect historic events. Old buildings are renovated. Instead of cloth banners, Main Street is adorned with wooden panels carved by local artists. Some depict plants and wildlife. Others celebrate the Valley of the Moon. Native Americans have a legend about the moon rising up above the river, so it's called the Valley of the Moon. You see a full moon at night uh, uh, from the floor of the valley. It's just a magnificent sight. There's like a silver light that um, falls over everything. You won't need moonlight to see this. The mural sits on one of Duval's busiest intersections. Its artist, just 16 years old when he painted it. I just think it's exciting that like youth get to offer their own input. The imagery here is all based off photos from old Duval. It started with you know Native Americans and then Westerners came in and started creating industry out of the logging. And then from that they developed uh, the train, the railroad, which really brought a lot of people into Duval. And then uh, out of that developed the city. Another peek into the past, the nearby Doherty Farmstead, lovingly cared for by Duval's historical society. And Mrs. Doherty was a widow with eight children, so she had to do a lot of farming and uh, boarded eight loggers in the bunkhouse just outside this house. Today, Duval is still about families, neighbors, and community. Everybody has a community, you know, everybody knows everybody, and we all help each other out. It's nice to come and antique and ride through when you're on a motorcycle, stop for a beer. We have great community events um, along with Duval Days this year. We have a farmer's market on Thursdays. I just like the people. I like the friendliness. Nearly 6,000 people now call Duval home. Some are commuters with jobs in the city. Others are small business owners or retirees. A diverse mixture of occupations and backgrounds with a common tie. They really treasure uh, open space. They treasure the rural beauty. A lot of families here, they, they value a sense of community. So if you're here for the art and history, an afternoon lunch, or just a walk on the Snoqualmie River Trail, there's one thing for sure in Duval. You're not going to be alone. You're not going to be lost in a sea of people here.